மார்ச் மாதம் ஆறாம் திகதி கன்பராவில் அமைந்துள்ள ஆஸ்திரேலிய பாராளுமன்ற மூன்றலில் பல இனங்களை சார்ந்த ஏதிரிகளும் ஒன்று கூடி நிரந்தர பதிவுரிமை வழங்கப்பட வேண்டும் என்ற கோஷங்களுடன் ஆர்ப்பாட்ட பேரணி ஒன்றை நடத்தியிருந்தனர் அந்த நிகழ்வில் கலந்து கொண்ட தமிழ் ஏதிரிகள் கழகத்தினுடைய நியூ சவுத் வேல்ஸ் மாநிலத்தின் இடைப்பாளர் ரேணுகா இன்பக்குமார் அவர்களுடன் ஐந்து ஈழத்தமிழ் அகதிகள் பாராளுமன்றத்திற்கு உள்ளே சென்று பாராளுமன்ற உறுப்பினர்களை சந்தித்தனர் அவர்களுடனான சந்திப்பில் அவர் சில வாக்குறுதிகளை வழங்கியிருந்தார் delegation team and she explained that she will most definitely explain that the acknowledgement of genocide is still alive. I recently had the honour and privilege of meeting a group of young Tamil refugees who have experienced the horrors of genocide in Sri Lanka, which continues to this day. I wish to read a statement that was written by a Tamil refugee to highlight their experience of this genocide, as well as the ongoing violence suffered as a result of our immigration system, which is full of torture. This is his statement. I am 33 years old, but only when I was 10, my father was killed. He was simply a fisherman and was contrib contributing for the Elam Tamils in our homeland. In 2009, in Mali Vekal, our homeland, the so-called no-fire zone, a zone the Sri Lankan government said was specifically made to not kill us. But the Sri Lankan government made all of us go to that area and continuously bombed, raped and massig massacred us till half of us were killed just for being Elam Tamil. I am a witness to this. I was there and bombs were dropped only metres away. People were shot in front of me while they were still in their bunkers. It has been 10 years since I came to Australia full of hope that I would have a permanent and safe home. But whilst I am on a temporary protection visa and the announcement about permanent visas has been made, many of my friends are waiting. My friends are not sure and their mental health has decreased. We are worried as some have been admitted to the hospital with suicidal thoughts. We were forced out of our own homeland and came to a land where we have contributed to Australian society. Some have opened new businesses to help others. Only last year in November, my friend died due to suicide with still an uncertainty of his future. We all want to have permanency it has been more than six months since Labor has come into power. We were all so hopeful. <laughs> what a joke. But now here we are again, slowly losing hope. People on bridging visas are unable to marry, have a permanent job, start a business, or even buy a house with our visas. We are scared we will be sent back and knowing that we will be detained and most prob probably continuously harassed. Our own homeland is being taken away and we have nothing to go back to. We want to live with our families in Australia and bring them to safety. We all deserve peace in Australia and an acknowledgement of the ongoing genocide in our homeland, Tamil Elam. There's so much more to say, but due to time constraints, I have shortened my story. Thank you for listening to my story. But this is the story of thousands of refugees 
who are currently either outside protesting or in Australia waiting for hope.